Again, Madam Salamat, with this, uh, we wish to end okay, uh, the program. <coughs> <Okay. laughs> Sorry, I just have to add. Um, I, I, I apologize for having pushed this last question because the Philippines was featured in the New York Times recently and Washington Post about the extrajudicial killings, drug-related. We just wanted to get your thoughts on this. Are you in favor of this? What can you do as Vice President? Am I in favor of? I think I've been very vocal about it. In, in fact, I have issued several several official statements already. But, but you know, I'm just one voice. Even if I am Vice President, I'm just one voice. Uh, I think media can, can do a lot as far as um, creating creating you know a, a mindset that this is not right um, there has been there has been a few voices already um, out there um, against extrajudicial killings but I think the public outri outcry is not an, uh, it's not just there yet um, I, I think I, I think all of us should should do our share in in making sure uh, that um, you know this has to stop. Um, the, the the president has made several statements already uh, saying that um, the rule of law and due, due process would be would be um, honored. But you know, every one of us should have a stake in this. Um, la just last week, I lost two of my friends. One is a barangay captain, one is a sheriff, to senseless deaths. Uh, I was in I was in the wake of I, I don't know if you read about him, um, the high school teacher who was a batchmate of my second daughter, high school teacher in high school math teacher in Ateneo, Ateneo. was gunned yeah. down. Pavia, who was yes. gunned down um, outside his house, and I feel now no leads. And the barangay captain I was telling you was aged already. Um, I, I think that she, if I'm if I am not mistaken, late 60s, early 70s, very simple, very humble man. Um, no enemies. He was also gunned down by motorcycle riding um, men. Ano eh, parang there is already a pervading culture of, of impunity. Yes. Um, not only that, yeah, if you look at social media, it also seems like there is a, a culture of hatred already. Parang kakaiba ngayon, di ba? Parang, parang I think this I think this this started during the campaign, the campaign period. Um, parang hindi naman tayo ganito eh. And then you will you will ask yourself, "San ba tayo? Parang may nagstop sa atin lahat." But if you will also look at the rest of the world, it seems that we're not alone in this. Um, there, it, it's it's getting worse. Parang it, there is a global phenomenon right now, no? Now there is really a culture of hatred going around. Pero we should not feel helpless. Eh. Um, but it's scary. It's scary. It's scary. Um, ito, pag hindi kasi enough yung public outcry, that brings a sense of hopelessness. And you ask yourself, is this really what the majority wants? Bakit, bakit pa lang ganon? So, tatanungin natin yung sarili natin, ito ba yung gusto natin? Kasi kung ito yung gusto natin, uh, yung mga ayaw nun, talagang dapat matakot. Pero kung, kung hindi naman ito yung gusto natin, pero marami lang sa ating hindi bumuboses, then we're not doing enough. So ako, ako naman, um, I've been very vocal about it. Um, a, a few other people have been very, very vocal about it. Pero our voices are not enough. Eh. There should be more. Para, para yung pressure na... Ano an eh? Med medyo kakaiba. Tama, tama po kayo. It's scary in the sense na marami nangyayari pero konti yun. Geography, editing, and reporting. This is Joseph Gelariosa of the Journal of Global Links and King of Russia and Slovenia.